Hey there guys, and welcome to the very first episode of Pronov, where I'll show you how to get started in the magical world of digital doodling. It's a lot cooler than I probably just made it sound. I swear. You too can draw. Now, if you're new to the world of digital art like me, it can be pretty intimidating. I'm pretty new myself, and I struggle a bit with the sheer saturation of great-looking stuff that's on the internet, which my stuff, unfortunately, would have to compete with. With all these thousand-dollar gizmos and complex programs, all these interfaces that people have gotten good at through years and years of fine-tuning and work, it's easy to look at all of it and be like, fuck that noise. I know Bob Ross. I know Da Vinci. I ain't no... fucking... spaz kid in 3D. Shit. Alright, if you're like nine, please don't Google him. Just, just don't. Wait a few years, don't Google him. I don't want to be blamed for that. So whether or not you have a proper art education, which I don't, or one of those fancy Wacom tablets, no, 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 none of that shit. The best thing you can do when starting out is to take it from the ground level. Now allow me to introduce the ground level. This is a Bargains Depot stylus, which you can get in multiples off of Amazon. They come in a bunch of different colors and are dirt cheap. Now I'm sure if you do the research you'll find something a little fancier, a little more accurate, a little more professional. But for the price, you really can't beat it. The nibs are designed for use with capacitive screens, the ones that only react to the human finger. So any doodle apps you have on your smartphone or iPad will work really well with this. And if you have a quality trackpad, you can turn it into a makeshift tablet and use whatever drawing apps you like, like Sketchpad 3.0, which is a free in-browser program, or even good old MS Paint if you got it. Depending on how your trackpad's set up, you'll either have to press down the left click to lay down the ink, or you'll be able to press and click the whole pad while you're drawing. You may have the option of both, in which case just pick your favorite. I'm willing to bet money though that more people have a smartphone than they do a quality trackpad or extra large drawing tablet. So for the remainder of the time we have with our friend here, I'm going to be using one of these exclusively. Join me next episode where I show you my favorite drawing app, Adobe Draw. So whether or not you have any formal... Shit. <laughs> 